In this video, we will go through the features of Comsys Desktop Soft Phone for Amazon Connect. Login, state changes, interaction with CRM pages of the caller, making, receiving, and transferring calls and other activities. Check out the description below if you need the user video for Comsys Mobile Soft Phone for Amazon Connect. Once Comsys Soft Phone is installed on your PC, you should see the Comsys Amazon Connect Soft Phone app shortcut on your desktop. You can also run the soft phone from programs as well. When you launch the soft phone, you need to retrieve your company settings. Click on the settings button and you will see the company code field. You will enter the company code provided by Constis. This needs to be done only for once. Click on get, then back. Now you can log in. Click on login icon and new login window will appear. Enter your email address, click next, Enter your password, click next, click on yes or no for staying signed in. Now you will log in. Once you're logged in, you're in offline state. You can click on the offline state and select another state or click on go to ready button to start accepting calls. You can check the other many options as well. My stats will show you the daily statistics about the calls you handled and your state information. Call logs will list the incoming and outgoing calls you had. You can call back the number by clicking on the phone icon and also copy the number to clipboard by clicking on the copy icon. Phonebook shows your company contacts and the personal contacts. You can create a new contact and call them from the phone icon. Team states show the current state of your team members. Team queues will list the queues you're part of and the call activity on each queue. One of the features of Comsys Sofon is that if there's a call waiting in the queue for a while, it will pop up on your Sofon screen to show the calls waiting. You can then decide to go to ready and answer the call. In the active call screen, you can see the caller ID of the caller. You can end the call, put it on hold, consult transfer and pause resume the recording. You can pause the recording if you need to collect critical information such as credit card details. You can then click on resume recording to continue. If you need to transfer the call to another agent, queue or external number, you can click on the consult button. Here you can select one of the quick connects. These are agents, queues and external numbers assigned to the current queue. You can also use search option to filter the quick connects. You can also use the dialer tab and enter the phone number directly. If the calling number is identified by the system, you will see the CRM ID of the calling contact populated. You can click on CRM icon under CRM ID and open the contacts page on your browser. If CRM ID is empty and you identify the contacts from the CRM, you need to update the CRM ID of the caller in the active call. Select the CRM ID at the end of the web page URL and copy. Then paste it to the CRM ID field on the active call and click to update the CRM ID. You can call back one of the contacts in your call logs by clicking on the phone icon. You can also type the number on a search box and call. If you need to call the number from your CRM contacts page, you can click on the phone icon and start the call. You can select Comsys Soft Phone in the pop-up and click on open link. Softphone will dial your number automatically. You can call another colleague if they are logged in and in available state from team states. Click on the three dots next to their name and click on the video call to start the call. You can mute audio or video and disable the video by default completely for your team. You can also launch supervisor console if you want to monitor the team members and the queues in detail. Right click on the team states menu icon and supervisor console will appear. You can toggle between team agents and team queues tabs for more details. Thanks for watching and visit comstis.com to request a trial.